Okay, we're going to be doing one of these morning glories. So I'm loading my 3 8 or number 10, flat brush, and I'm picking up in Poetic Plum, that's my medium value, picking up my dark mix. And then on the light corner of the brush, I am now picking up pink chiffon. I'm going to start with my brush flat on my surface and just kind of wiggle upwards as we go along. As soon as I start to lose my pink chiffon, I stop, load a bit more, and carry on. I just meld those two together a bit more. Pick up a bit more paint as my brush is running out. And I'm going to come all the way over and end on that flat chisel again. Now that was with my three eighths. Now for the front of this flower, I switch to my half inch or number 12. Do a base coat with my Poetic Plum. I'm going to side load the dirty brush into my dark mix. So I've got that side load on there. And I'm going to use the brush up on the chisel. And I'm just going to draw upwards. Pick up a little more dark as I need it. I'm using a little pressure, not too much. Wipe my brush to get the excess of that dark off. I'm going to pick up a little more Poetic Plum on the brush and then again on the other side I've got my pink chiffon. Now I want to make sure that my pink chiffon, the tip of that brush, hooks on to that spot right there to create the finish the cup of the petals. As I'm going and I'm running out of pink chiffon, I pick up a bit more. You want to go up and down every now and then. More pink chiffon. Over to the edge to cup onto there. And then I'm just going to come back through the flower. Wipe out the camera. <laughs> and just chisel down a little bit of those petals. That one can take a little... So that has created the front and the back of that petal. Now where I have these flowers that are not having a cup in the front, it's just a side view of these flowers, I treat them the same way we did for the front part of the cupped flower. So I apply the wet coat. Now I've painted my leaf right over top, so I'll just bring that flower back down where it's supposed to be, over top of the leaf. Again, remember, I pick up my dark on the corner of the brush using the chisel. I'm going to draw that upwards, blending it into that wet paint. That's the purpose. Wipe the excess off. If you need some more plum, poetic plum, <laughs> poetic plum, pick that up. And I'm going to double load with the light again, upwards. As you run out, pick up a bit more. And just every now and then, kind of exaggerate it up off the edge. As you need more, you pick up more. And then again, that end comes off on that angle. And then I just draw that pink 
downwards. And that gives me that nice blended look. So I'm loading my brush in the Poetic Plum. My 3 8 dip the corner into the dark mix and the other corner into the pink chiffon. Flatten your brush to the chisel and starting up at the top of the bud, set my brush down on the angle and I will press and come down that away. Move down to the next section. And you can go back over it a couple of times. Press and come down. I'm going to get a bit more paint. Set my brush down on that angle and slide down. I doesn't have any dark on the bottom. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So it's just press and slide downwards. So you see that they're like a little, little curves, right? It's best if you lay your piece sideways like I am and come with your brush so you're at that angle. I found that if people were trying to do them while they were standing upwards, they were giving a loop and creating a different stroke to it and couldn't, it was just something. So I've got my brush laying there, press, come downwards, press, come downwards, press, come downwards. And that gives us I'm going to leave my brush dirty, doesn't matter, and I'm going to double load in black, green, and lush. So black, green, and lush, and then I'm going to pick up a little of the matcha on the light. And I'm going to take, and our press and slide, we just set, the, it's just like what we did, but in reverse. Start at the bottom press and slide up. Now my brush being dirty carries some of that color in there and I always love that. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to press and slide and then come from the bottom and press and slide again. So that makes that one of those leaves that's unraveling. And you can you can take on the end of it if you want and pull a little bit up. Those, those leaves untwist. And then I'm just gonna do just a little sideways, like a little cup almost, that holds it on. We, uh, my always my bud holder honors. So I, now I'm loading the brush again, and I'm gonna set the brush down on an angle, press and slide, press and slide, and I can bring another right here. So I'm bringing these press and slides on. I've got one transferred on there. And we're going to have one here. I've got another here. You might add more depending on what kind of surface you've put this on. But we always want to have them at the base of all of the buds or the flowers. So these are what basically the flower would have unwrapped out of these leaves. Gosh, I, I'm surprised I didn't load that right into that paint. And then I've got one coming out of the end of the flower. Well, I don't want to get it on my flower, so I'm just going to try to work around that. And I have to attach it. Oops. Well, that helps if I put it in the screen, eh? So that, and I, I want to slide and attach it. Have another little one coming from there. Again, I'm going to take, ah, uh, you're not going to believe it, but another blutter, blutterfly, butterfly flew into the paint. 
So I've got my brush on that angle, press and slide, press and slide, and then come, coming back that way. I've got paint, covering paint, and I like to have a little bit of the light. So I wanna go back sometimes and add a little more light in a few places. And, and it just kind of helps to add a few extra leaves, even though there weren't any in that area. It just kind of adds a little something. I've got a smudge there, so I'm going. So you just, you can go around and you can, you know, come in and add these extra leaves. And you see where I've got extra paint left in my brush of that pink, it's coming out in those leaves. So it looks kind of nice. I, I think I'd add a few more over here. So it, it just, there. And I might kind of want to come over here. Now we can thin this right down and add shadow leaves if you want. Uh, and we can add curly cues. Uh, that's all optional. But the one thing last week in our notes, we talked about um, adding a tint. And we said, we'll wait until we have the flower colors out. So I'm going to take some of my mix and a little of my Poetic Plum and mix them together and thin them down to a wash. And so here I'm going to take... And I'm just going to swipe in with some of this wash from the edge. Now I'm going to have to brighten this for you. And that, I'll put a little over here too on the light section. Just a bit. And you can smudge it with your finger to, to tone it down. But you don't want to get carried away and put too much. 